Pirates in Dumbletwit costumes. <laughs> oh no! It's Diabolical Dave! I'm coming to get you, Captain Dumbletwit! Oh no, you're not! <laughs> you'll, you'll never you. catch me! <laughs> and Elsie was Panico, Captain Dumbletwit's pot plant alarm. <laughs> it's Panico! <laughs> we were going to Miss Smiley's cafe for Captain Dumbletwit's dress up party! Where's Doojit, my trusty alien pet? I'm here, Captain <laughs> Dumbletwit! <laughs> Captain Dumbletwit is everyone's favourite cartoon. I'll get it. Doojit to the rescue. <laughs> I've captured Captain Dumbletwit's spaceship. <laughs> oh, no. Then another Captain Dumbletwit cartoon character turned up. An alien poodle. Really? It was Mr. Mentor, the inventor. Oh, you all look fabulous! Mr. Mentor doesn't just invent things, he invents words too. I'm afraid I've come with some bad news. Bad news? Don't tell me the party's been cancelled. No, 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 nothing like that. Someone is back in Sunny Sands. Someone who might try to steal my inventions. Who? <laughs> Mr. Greater, the Creator. Mr. Greater, the Creator? Shouldn't you be back at the lighthouse guarding them? Oh, no, no, no need. I've invented a brilliant burglar blaster. It's an alarm. I got the idea from Captain Dumbletwit's panic. Does it mean it goes like this? Wow! 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 Ooh, exactly like that, only louder. Loud enough to be heard all over Sunny Sands. So when I'm out, I'll know that Mr. Greater is up to mischief. I'd really like to see this Brilioso Burglar Blaster. Me too. And me. Can we go to the lighthouse on our way to the cafe, Jemima? Please? But what about Grandpa? He can't get up all those stairs. Oh, don't you worry about me. I'll have a little lie down, then I get a taxi to the cafe. OK. Dad, we're ready to go now. Where did you go to? Oh. I knew what Grandpa was thinking. I want to make sure that the Brilioso Burglar Blaster is working properly. No, Mr. Ment, it probably isn't. Mr. Crater, the creator, is always trouble and he's got to be stopped. But it's all right, because I've got this. <gasps> Not the Shrieking Cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks. Come back! He runs about so fast, I can't catch him. Which is amazing, because ostriches don't fly, actually. And my helicopter. And Gordon the seagull. But because he was being Captain Dumbledore today, he took the spaceship. Captain Dumbledore, off to save the universe! Grandpa zoomed out of the window and flew off to the lighthouse at top speed. <laughs> Mr. Greater was already there, but nobody knew because the Brilliota Burglar Blaster wasn't working. Greater the Creator saw it. Goodness gracious! And golly gosh! A Captain Dumbledore spaceship that actually flies! Mr. Mentor is cleverer than I thought. The spaceship landed, and Grandpa ducked out of sight. Mr. Greater wanted to know how it worked. He was about to look inside and see Grandpa, but then he heard us coming up the stairs. Oh, double dollop of dread! He put the spaceship down, climbed up the ladder, and hid upstairs. Why, why, why? Oh, and no flashing lights, which means that Mr. Greater the Creator hasn't been here, and everything is safe. Is this a brilliant burglar blaster? It is, and it is truly brilliant. <laughs> there was Grandpa, but we couldn't talk to him. 
Josh, Elsie, come and look. We had to go and look at the burglar blaster. Are you sure it works? I mean, have you tested it yet? No. Why? Do you think I should? Well, it's just your inventions, they sometimes take a while to get going. That's absolutely true. They are very lazy. I'll, uh, I'll test the wah-wah-wah. That's the important bit. While Mr Mentor was testing the wah-wah-wah, Grandpa started to make funny signs at us. But we couldn't understand what he meant. Then Mr Mentor said... No, the wah-wah-wah is not working. Oh, how disappointable. Maybe it just needs a new battery. No, it doesn't need a new battery. A new battery, of course. I'll pop down to the shops and buy one. <laughs> if I can find some money. I think we should go to the cafe now. I've gone to all this bother with your costumes. No way are we missing the party. Oh. Then Jemima saw the spaceship. I didn't know you brought this with you, Josh. <gasps> A Captain Dumbletwit spaceship. Spectacular. Come on, everyone. Yes, yes. We can't miss it. But Grandpa needed the spaceship so he could get away from the lighthouse. So I put it back on the table. As soon as we'd gone, Mr Greater, the creator, climbed down the ladder. Grandpa had to fix the Brilliosa burglar blaster before he ran off with all Mr Mentor's inventions. So he sneaked inside. At Miss Miley's cafe, we were admiring everyone's costumes. And at the lighthouse, Mr Greater was stealing all the inventions. Grandpa fixed the Brilliosa burglar blaster and ran back into the spaceship. All he had to do was wait for Mr Greater to open the door and the alarm would go off. Back at Miss Smiley's cafe... Josh, what have you done with Jason's spaceship? You haven't left it at the lighthouse, have you? Uh, um, I thought it might be needed. By Captain Dumbletwit. <laughs> I don't think so. Mr Greater, the creator, had got all of Mr Mentor's inventions and was ready to leave. He opened the door and this happened. Mr Greater went into a panic. He didn't know what to do. Burglar Blaster. What are you doing here, Mr Greater? Oh, um, I was uh, just passing by and, and I thought I'd pop in and say hello. <laughs> hello! Anyway, I'd better be off. <laughs> Wonderful inventions. Wonderful! That spaceship! I don't know how you do it, Mr Mentor. No, neither do I. Well, have a nice day. Very strange man he is. Oh, now, I must take a closer look at this spectacular spaceship. Suddenly, it took off. Grandpa had to get away fast. Follow it, Jason! Follow it! He flew the spaceship all the way to the Smiley's Cafe and landed on the pier. He didn't want to miss out on the party. Everyone was dancing to the Captain Dumbletwit music. So nobody saw Grandpa running across the cafe and into the storeroom. Nobody, that is, except us. Went to talk to him. Cap off, Grandpa, quick! He came back to his normal size. What happened? Did you catch the burglar? Sort of. I stopped Mr Greater from stealing all Mr Mentor's inventions and I fixed the Brilliosa burglar blaster, so I don't think he'll be back. 
Great job, Grandpa! Well, you helped. I would have had no chance without the spaceship. Teamwork, I call it. Teamwork! <laughs> Mr Mentor was telling everyone the story. The spaceship flew out of the lighthouse window. It flew all the way to the cafe by itself. We found it outside on the pier. I must have invented the flying bit without realising it. Everyone was very impressed. And my brilioso burglar blaster fixed itself. Quite remarkable. Yes, remarkable. Captain Dumbledore, you've arrived. What took you so long? Sorry, I was saving the universe. <laughs> very funny. So you managed to get a taxi then? Something like that. Well, you've missed all the excitement. Come and sit down and I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Troubles really began. Food! Glorious food! You don't get it in space. Instead, you get food pellets that taste like the boxes they came in. So when the hamster said we were stopping for a real meal, I was expecting Burger Bar Galactica. Instead, I got Planet Salad. Vegetarianism's for wimps. Wimps? Wimps? You never met a carrot man a vegan for. <laughs> Wrestling with radishes, kickboxing courgettes. It's a man's life in the vegetarians. Well, this girl wants to eat meat. Call me old fashioned, but I like my food to have a face. Me. I'm wasting away. Oh, contrary, mon chéri. You are beautiful. That skin so pale. That frame so ooh, thin. <laughs> I am Claude LaFraud, owner of the most tres chic fashion school in the galaxy. And Vuz will be my next supermodel. Well, it's nice of Vuz to think so, um, but I am kind of busy at the moment, searching for my father. Enroll in moi school, and soon your face will be on the cover of every magazine in the galaxy. I'll never see her again, my little girl. Cassie! 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 Tad will know how to find me! Cassie? Actually, it's Cassie Appiah. Let me make you a star. <laughs> What's the froggy dog story? He wants me to be a model. Battleship or airplane? <laughs> <laughs> and what's so funny about that? Oh, come on, Cass. You're not into girly stuff like real girls. You're into fighting and burping and going munch without a wash, like me. You a model? <laughs> Give me a break. When do I start? Immediately. My ship is this way. Hey, wait up, Mr. Fashion Head. If you think she's got it, what about me? Check this for physical perfection. I have never seen anything like it. Take one step back, and another, and another. Very cute. Don't call me! Au revoir, Monsieur Hamster. Cute. 
Where's the hamster? Dropping in on an old friend. Then he'll follow. I still can't believe you're gonna make me a model. Trust me, Cassiopeia. By the time I have finished with you, you will look good enough to eat. Why did you say eat like that? If we love Planet Manger, home of Claude the Fraud School of Fashion. That's it, girls. Eat up your pies. To be a model, you must be chunky. I thought you liked me thin. An hour ago, Cassie, an hour. Now chubby chic is all the range. Mmm, cool. Mm. No, 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 no. Walk tall and proud. The audience must hunger for you. What do I do now, Claude? I can't remember. Sacre bleu, Sasha. For the hundredth time, turn around. Claude, not that I miss him or anything, but have you heard from the hamster? I'll break his arms. I'll break his legs. I'll, I'll break the stuff between his arms and legs. Ooh, that poodle's gonna get clipped. Name? Fonzie Hamster. I'm here to see Cassie. Your name's not on the list. You're not coming in. I might be down as the Raging Rodent? Nope. Captain Carnage? Nope. Marion? But that's a girl's name. There ain't nothing guyly about me! Now I know why to call him Bounces. Careful! You'll tear it! No! You'll tear it! You've put on so much weight! A little treat before the show, my beauties. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <sighs> I always knew she'd leave me one day. But to be a model? For a poodle? Fine, Cass. Off you go. See if I care. Oops, dropped my menu. Leave it. We're already late. Menu? At a fashion show? <gasps> Stinking sawdust! What a dish. Delicious. My clients will eat you up. Is it me, or am I missing something this week? Girls, it's showtime! <sighs> the only way I'll get in there is if I'm a model. Or a lobster. <coughs> I must have a lobster costume. Must have a lobster costume. <coughs> Jeez, this ain't gonna be pretty. <laughs> Let me through! Girly girl fashion model. Sorry, running late. And what's your name? Oh, you won't find me on your list. I don't care about the list. I just want to know your name. Fashion Girls, gotta run. Huh, you know, you're kind of cute. Don't call me cute unless you're looking for a serious relationship. <laughs> Not till you buy me dinner. Ooh, I love them when they're feisty. Cassie, cupboard. Cassie, cupboard. Cassie, cupboard. You can call me anything you like, sweet lips. Yikes! The dinner bell! Ladies and gentlemen, Claude Le Fraud is proud to present Les Dames de la Plat de Joua! <laughs> I thought they'd at least be taking photos or something. Hey, Chopstick! Stop hugging the spotlight! Ooh, what's this one called? Cassie Roll. <laughs> Sounds scrummy. Garçon, we'd like this one for our main course. What? I like my food to have a face. Dessert? What are you wearing? Sheesh, Cass, you could lose some weight! Ooh, an appetizer. We'll have the little one for starters. At once, Monsieur. You think we're just gonna let you eat us without a fight? No, that is why I have this. Shouldn't we be getting away by now? Well, 
fly you, my little blue minx. No! I'll save you, my sweetheart. Too bad for one day! Listen, you big ugly lug! He's rescuing us! Be nice! Hi, I'm her friend. <laughs> Our ship's outside. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask. Oh, <laughs> bring back my main course! <laughs> You promised us a feast, not a flood. Ooh, ah, ooh. Oh, all that excitement's made me so tired. I think I'll go to bed and leave you two lovebirds alone. No, 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 Cass, wait! I thought you'd never leave. <laughs> Listen, pal, there's something I gotta tell you. I just called Mama. She wants you to have a wedding dress. Look, I can't get married in your mother's dress. In fact, we can't get married at all. We can? No, I have a secret. I'm not a natural blonde. I knew that. And I can never have children. We can adopt. Look, you don't understand. I'm a boy. Well, nobody's perfect. 